Hello there, I hope you're doing really, really well. I'm Machine Dana. In this video, I'm going to show you very briefly how you can split off your audio into different tracks for recording purposes. Now, currently, I don't believe that Twitch, YouTube Gaming, or Facebook Gaming supports streaming to multiple tracks other than Twitch, which now has inherently within OBS Studio an option to separately send up your music to Twitch Studio and... Yeah, other than that thing, you basically can't split off your audio in a stream, but you can split it off for video recordings that are used in OBS Studio, and the same with Streamlabs OBS as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you very briefly how you can set that up and some of the key configurations you need to be aware of. First of all, you're probably asking, well, why would you want to actually split the tracks? Well, to be honest, if you're already here, there's a high chance you already have a need for it. But if you're just passively watching this video, if you want to do a podcast, for example, and you want to split off the voices of the different podcasters through different microphones, microphone inputs to be able to edit out and mute certain podcasters whilst others are speaking or perhaps just to edit out coughs and laughs or things like that. There are other examples of this. Maybe you want to split off the music track or the game track from your recording so that you can then edit them separately without them interfering with each other. So there's lots of different applications. I'm sure I'm only scraping the surface here. So yeah, if you do find this useful, hit the like. Let me know why you are using this. I'm really keen to know what applications you're using this for because if there's a really good application, I'm gonna steal it. Shamelessly, I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> As always, you can check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine day. And if you want to come hang out, say hi. And let's do this. So because I'm recording in OBS Studio, I've had to go ahead and record OBS Studio separately so that it just looks a little bit tidier. I'm kind of talking above my recording here. And also some of the settings are actually locked when you're using OBS Studio. So I wouldn't have been able to demonstrate all of the settings had I not made a pre-recording. So what I've done here to set up a demonstration of how the audio splitting into tracks works for recordings, I've actually set up a completely new scene collection within OBS Studio. You can do the same in Streamlabs OBS, by the way, and I'll briefly show the settings for Streamlabs OBS later on in the video. But I've just set up a scene that has got two sources in. It's just a straightforward image source, and it's also the display capture source, just to show an example. But I'm going to leave the image on because it's a little bit tidier for the video. And I do recommend that if you're trying this out maybe you do set up a new scene collection just to test this first to make sure it's working and then apply it to all your other scenes and sources as needed so we need to hit settings and within the settings there's a few different options there's output options and you've also got stream options and audio options we need to be concerned with both the output options and also the audio options and you can see here there's stream tab and also the recording tab so as i mentioned earlier you can only output one track you need to make sure you're clicking on the advanced output mode so you can see all the full option range there is an option to split out twitch vod music that's you would do this by hitting the check mark and selecting track two to do that and then you would make sure that your music is configured onto track two which i'll show later in the video so we need to go into the recording tab to split out the recording audio now here we can select which tracks are used for the mp4 format the thing to note here quickly is that there are a lot of different video formats that you can use in obs studio by standard most people use mp4 some people use flv i think flv is like the standard or the default mp4 does support multiple audio tracks and that's the output format that you need to select to be able to enable multiple audio tracks to be split so if you are trying to use flv and you're trying to split out audio it simply won't work so it's something you just need to make sure you get fundamentally right within the advanced output tab here so here briefly in the audio tab we can select the bit rate of the audio normally the higher the bit rate the better but if you've got internet issues you might not be able to go so high there you can name these tracks if you want like video track voice track i've just done a test one here to say third audio track and then on the recording tab you would simply select the audio tracks that you want to be included within your recording so if you wanted just the one audio it'd just be number one number two number three and so on and so forth you can add up to six and name them and select the bit rate for them individually so once you've named them and you've selected the bit rate and you've selected which tracks you want to be included within your obs or streamlabs obs recording you're kind of ready to record at that point but we first just need to configure the individual sources themselves. And all we're really doing here is telling Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio which audio sources are pushed into which audio tracks. It seems pretty straightforward, but this is a really integral part of it. Otherwise, the audio simply won't be pushed down those individual tracks. You've got to define this for OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. To do this, first you need to locate your audio mixer, which is where the bars will go up and down. So we need to click the cog icon and click Advanced Audio Properties. In the Advanced Audio properties by standard all of your audio devices will be shown there and this will enable you to tag which audio device you want to be pushed into which track 
channel. So you've literally got to go through these one by one. By default, they're all checked for all channels. So you may want to just uncheck them for the channels that you're not using. And you may find that there are some extra sources in here that you don't even really use an audio for. You can choose to turn them off the audio tracks if you want by deselecting them on the right hand side. Or you can just leave them if they're not outputting an audio and it won't cause any problems on your stream. That's just personal preference. But now what we're doing is we're literally just selecting the source itself and what track we want that source to be heard through. So for example, if you want the desktop audio to come through audio track one, we'd check the one and uncheck two to six. If the mic to come through track two, we'd only check track two like this. You can do other stuff in this tab. For example, adjust the audio between left and right and adjust the audio percentage increases and sync offsets and things like that. So there's quite a lot of advanced options you've got here if you need them. Most people probably won't need these and certainly not for the sake of this video. Now you're ready to basically hit record in OBS Studio and do your normal thing and this is all configured. I said I would quickly show these settings in Streamlabs OBS as well. If we just click on the cog icon in the bottom left hand corner, on the output tab, we've got the same streaming and recording tabs. Again, we can select which audio tab we want to stream from. And we've got the same Twitch VOD information here as well as OBS Studio. Within the recording tab, we can choose which tracks we want to output to the MP4 format under the advanced output mode. But this time within Streamlabs OBS, instead of clicking the individual cog of the actual item itself, there's a cog at the top, which is advanced audio settings. You can see here, and we've got the same situation. And we could just select which tracks we want the sources, the audio sources sources to be included on just like this so just to demonstrate that this does actually split out the audio for editing purposes i've made a test recording earlier where i played one of my youtube videos but i also spoke through my microphone in able to show the two tracks and how we can manipulate them within a program for example davinci resolve or adobe premiere now at this point don't worry too much if you don't hear certain portions of your audio and you do hear certain other portions of your audio they may be split out on the editor bearing in mind you're going to then be kind of re-editing them there's basically like a primary track that will play through the video it won't merge them by standard so now within adobe premiere what i'm going to do is just control i in the project zone i'm going to pull in the test recording and drag this onto my timeline if i just make this a little bit bigger here and the audio channels here you can now see that there's two sets of audios here now for each audio we've also got a left and right side so that's why you're seeing two channels within each audio path so if i now just preview this by pressing spacebar it'll preview the video hello there and welcome i'm machine dana i hope you're having a wonderful this wonderful is me day. talking so above Twitch the video announced that you can have animated emotes they're available right now this is me talking without the video playing, and then this is the video playing on its own. To partners as of like 12 hours ago, and they'll be Hopefully it's quite clear what's going on here. Basically, I talked on this lower channel whilst the video was playing. I talked on my own without the video playing here, and I had the video playing without me talking in this section here. And what this allows you to do if you right click here is then do something, for example, unlink it, and we can then manipulate these seconds these sections to either do an offset or move the audio somewhere else or even just delete the audio altogether if you only wanted the video audio or something like that basically just gives you a hell of a lot more flexibility now when we export this video in whatever format you would normally export your videos into it will obviously take into account the multiple audio tracks in the same way that it would normally do that in your editing software there you go an easy way to be able to split off your tracks when you are recording stuff for podcasts or you want to just have more control over your editing or whatever other reason that you might need to do this for let me know in the comments what those reasons might be once again if you found it useful i'd really appreciate a like for the algorithm on youtube or whatever and yeah have a good day take care